everyone. Um, we don't usually do English videos on this channel anymore, but I just thought that this video is quite relevant. And um, if anyone is interested in how to do acrylics at home, then this will be a nice little video for you. Um, just a disclaimer that I am not a professional. I have not had any training in this. This is just me over the years going to the nail shop since I was like 16 years old um, and just basically memorizing what they used to do to my nails and obviously during quarantine and lockdown it's been difficult to ever get my nails done so this has become my new hobby um so the first thing that i do is kind of give myself a little manicure so i start with the sally hansen um instant cuticle remover this obviously really quickly makes my cuticles soft and ready to be able to be cut Please ignore any notification sounds that are coming from the background. Um, I then use a cuticle pusher and then that way my cuticles are ready for me to be able to trim, cut, whatever you call it. Um, I will list everything below in the description box. I'll leave the Amazon link to all the stuff that I do have so you can keep a lookout on it. I started off with like an acrylic starter set and then just built my kit up as I went. I do cut my nails down quite a bit. This helps the tips stick on better. Um, I've realized that when you do use tips on longer nails, like your own natural nails, they tend to lift a lot easier and the sides start to like lift up. Um, and then what I do is I literally just drill my nails with the nail drill. This allows that top layer of the nail to basically buff down. And this is really crucial. Do not skip this part because I was skipping this part and then all my acrylics used to just come off really quickly. And then it's basically because you need to remove the top layer of your nails because it has this particular oil that will make the acrylics lift off if you don't get rid of it. Um, I then use the nail dehydrator at this point, but you don't actually have to use it at this point. You can use it further down which is better in my opinion um, and here are the tips so I've got tips from Amazon eBay I've bought these particular ones from Sheen um, I basically what I do is I measure them to my nails and I will line them up because I find it's a lot more easier to stick them on like this than sticking the nails on and finding the right size while I've got these long nails on my fingers um, I just make sure I stick the tips down and you know you're just ready to go and shape from there so once i've got the tips on i do cut them down to a desired length as i could never use my nails that long um i use the elegant touch um tip cutter i believe that's what it is um as it is a lot easier to cut it that way than to use any other sort of nail clipper in, in this case um, and then what I will do is I will proceed to actually drilling my nails again But this time it's not necessarily me actually drilling my nail as such It's more drilling down that tip so that I've got a much more flatter um, Surface to work on once I start laying my acrylic So as you can see I'm just like drilling the corners of the tips and stuff Just to thin that down a little bit and make a much more leveled base for myself Once the drilling's complete, as I mentioned earlier, I use a nail dehydrator. This is also a really good tactic, I would say. I'm sure this is what they put on your nails at the nail shop as well before they start laying your acrylic. It must do something. There's some sort of a magic going on there. Um, prepping my brush, I just make sure that I actually like have my brush in the solution for a good amount of time and I move it around until the bubbles are like near enough not there anymore um and then i start laying the acrylic and like i've mentioned before i'm no professional this is just my little tactic that i've obviously built up from youtube videos and getting my nails done over the years um what i do is i dip into the acrylic solution i'll make sure that my brush isn't soaking wet and then i dab onto the powder like three to four times to build up a little bit of a pile of acrylic and then i start laying that on my nails as you can see and then what I just do is I make sure that I rub the brush along the cuticle line just because you obviously don't want your acrylic to be stuck on your skin as I'm pretty sure that will lead to some sort of complication and would rather avoid that end of it. Um, and then I literally just continue doing the same thing. Just another tip that I would give is for the nail tip, I tend to put a bit more acrylic there as well. Otherwise your nail tips go really 
thin in comparison to the nail bed and that way I'm sure your acrylics will break off a lot easier if you don't build up the sort of thickness on the ends of your nails. As you can see, because I don't like having really thick acrylics, I mean, I don't know if anyone does like having really thick acrylics, but um, I go bit by bit, do it thin, and then just build it up to the desired thickness that I prefer my nails to be. Um, I just think that the more thinner they are, obviously they look a lot more natural. Um, but yeah, you know, you can't make them too thin because then they'll just break off and all this effort would basically be an absolute waste of time. Here's a bit of a better shot of me clearing out my cuticle area because I obviously don't want the acrylic stuck on my skin. Um, another thing I would say is like, make sure that you keep cleaning your brush with the monomer itself and rub it on a piece of tissue. This helps like there be no build up on your brush and obviously it just makes working with the acrylic a lot easier. Um, once this is all done, I go back to drilling my nails. This is just to make sure that all my nails are smooth and there's no lumps or bumps anywhere because you will realize like the first couple times that you are laying acrylic, it's quite difficult to get the consistency correct to get it all smooth up in the first place. So the drill is brilliant for that. And obviously you can use all the different drill bits if needs be to buff it and make it even more smoother. Once all of this is done, I move on to shaping my nails. I usually use a coffin shape. That's my preferred shape. Um, the other thing that you could do is when you actually stick the tips on in the first place, you can shape your nails then and then lay the acrylic, which might make the shaping of it a lot easier towards the end. I don't really require it because like I said, it's coffin, so it's not really much different to the actual um, straight tip that I usually use anyway. Um, and then once this is done, I basically just buff it with a buffer block and my nails are ready to be painted. Um, just a couple things to bear in mind, you know, don't use um, nail polish remover that has acetone in it because obviously it does deteriorate the acrylic. Um, and just bear in mind that I am not a professional. Like I've mentioned earlier, I have not received any sort of training for this. This is just my way of doing it from what I've experienced over the years and off YouTube and so on and so forth. I hope this video is helpful to anyone who does want to do their nails at home. And if there are any questions that you would like to ask, feel free to comment below or you can DM me on Instagram. And like I've said, I will leave the Amazon link down below so that you can click on it and go onto my list of all the stuff I have for my nails. And yeah, I hope you like it. Thank you.